Hello everyone. Once again, this is Dare to Speak. And in this video, I'm going to talk about something that's very important. Something that I um, that bothers me, of course, in a sense. And that's about the ethics of using guns. For the most part, I was a victim of being mugged or being held at gunpoint. It was a sawed off shotgun, which I did manage to defend myself. And uh, ever since then, my uh, phobia with guns, no matter what, whether it's a, um, a rifle, a handgun of any type, doesn't really matter. I do get this a little bit of phobia, this uh, post-traumatic stress disorder kind of thing. It's not as severe like it used to be, obviously, you know. For the first two years, I was extremely phobic. And then little by little, it started to like uh, calm down, but not completely. With that being said, I know that People need to defend themselves because of how, you know, depending on where you live or if you're a delivery person uh, delivering pizza or, or uh, anything else and you have to go to these unsavory bad neighborhoods or if you're a person who um, tows um, cars and you have to go in the middle of the night to a uh, tow cars with your um and and you want to feel safe i can understand wanting to have some kind of protection i don't really care so much for guns myself however i couldn't i could understand if someone needs to have one to protect themselves um one time when i was in a grocery store when i was leaving with my groceries i in like in the early evening when it was sunset, I saw a guy walk in and he had, you know, a Glock, you know, a regular guy, and he had it on, on a holster as he was walking in. And he could be a he could be a cop for all I know, or he could be just a regular guy. But they are people are allowed, you know, with a license to carry concealed weapons, concealed guns, you know, whatever. They are allowed to carry a gun. And, uh, but the thing about it is, I wonder how stable some of these people are. I know that some people, when they, when they defend themselves, when they have to use it, the only way you could tell if someone is really responsible and not, you know, all f fucked up in the head, you know, you want to make sure they're, they're, they're pretty much sane is when they only sh when they shoot and they pace their shots. If someone feels threatened and they just see the threat was, you know, called, uh, the, the self-defense was called for, because the, the, the threat was actually really that bad, and they pulled out your, your uh, gun and you shot two rounds, pow, pow, at whatever direction, at whatever part of the body that you were, your, that you were aiming, and then the person goes down to the ground. He's not dead. Let's just say that person's not dead, but he got you. But you shot him in the place where he's in pain, and he he's already scared. And then uh, either either he tries to run away, but he stumbles and falls, and you just walk up to him. And let's just say you decided because. You decided to shoot him some more. 
because of the fact that this guy came at you with a knife and let's just say he did stab you. You pushed him away before you would have pulled out your gun and shot him. Now picture this scenario so far. He comes out to stab you with a knife. He does. You push him away. Far enough away for you to pull out your gun. Fire two shots. He falls to the ground. He tries to run away. He trips and falls because of the because of where where you shot him. And you walk up to him and he says, This guy tried to kill me. So I have the right to take his life. So you shot him two times in the head. Two more times. Pow, pow. And then for whatever reason, another shot in the in the neck. Pow. And then you kicked him in the face. Real hard in the face. Saying something rhetoric or sarcastic or whatever like that. The cops come by. You report what happened. You have a license to carry a gun. The guy that tried to hurt you is dead. And then they see there was witnesses saying, yeah, this guy tried to kill him. Tried to stab him. And so he defended himself. He gets off. But one, let's just say that let's just say that I was there and I saw the whole thing. I would have to have no choice but to say that that guy didn't have to kill him. Yes, he did. He did defend himself. He fired two shots. He tried to get away and he, and he tripped and fell. He could have told him to stay in the ground, not to get up. I'm gonna call the cops. You stay on the ground. Wait for the police to come by. So they could arrest him. Of course, you know, the paramedics, they check his wounds and then they, uh, you know, the, the regular procedure from there. I would be compelled to go in and tell the police officers that. But to keep my mouth shut and, say, and to say that I was justified, no. I don't give a fuck if someone actually cut me, you know, right here and try to, try to stab me in the neck and he just grazed me. And he came at me again and he stabbed me in the shoulder. You know, just, just flesh was nothing, 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 uh, nothing fatal. And then he, but in the, and he tried to stab me again and I kicked him in the, in the groin and I pushed him away. And then I, um, took the knife away from him. And then I, and then just see, I kicked him and knocked him to the ground. That's all I would have to do. I would not stab him and say, this guy tried to kill me. So, I'm, so I do have the right to stab him and to stab him to death and kill him. That is completely wrong. That's not self-defense. That's murder. And if I had, if I was licensed to carry a gun, and I did exactly the same thing what this guy did in that scenario that I just explained to you, that is not self-defense. That is straight up murder. And I would just tell the tell the police officers that it was a murder because he didn't have to kill him. The guy was already helpless on the ground. He dropped a knife. He was already in, you know, in shock for being shot. And, and then he just walked up to him and got vindictive, shot him twice in the head and one more time in the, in the side of the neck. And I wouldn't doubt it if people got angry and say, you're a snitch, you're this and that, or whatever. And, and the guy got angry and, and, he, and we, we and him were arguing. I wouldn't care if that would have happened. That's not it. I would not even keep my mouth shut. I would actually say something. Now, if the scenario was different, let's just say after he after he got stabbed, he pushed the guy away. He pulled out the gun and he shot him right here in the chest, hitting his heart. He shot like one or two shots, pacing him out, pow, or just two shots, pow, and then pow, like that, like that. And then and he just uh, walked away, or ran, he, he tried to run away, and he f stumbled. The guy pulled, uh, takes out his cell phone to call the cops. The guy's trying to get away, but he's crawling, and then he just ends up laying there. And then within a minute, he died because of where he got shot. That's self-defense. Because he didn't get vindictive, he didn't walk up to him and, and shoot him. Now, I know there's people out there that would disagree with me and say, you're a fucking idiot. 
if yeah, and if you if you would have snitched, if I would have snitched like that, uh, uh, saying that that guy got vindictive, that I deserve to be fucking shot or killed too, or 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 whatever the case. If you if you think that about me, fine. Okay, all I, all I, all I have to say is you're a fucking idiot for even saying that, or even thinking that. And for those of you who support what I just said, please drop a comment. Let me know exactly what you think. Because I honestly think I'm in the right. People with guns should be responsible, especially of their license to carry, of, the, of their legal, um, have the legal right to carry. Just because someone is trying to kill you and they failed to kill you and you defended yourself, you defended yourself and, they, and you pretty much foiled it. And whether you used um, a knife to defend yourself, a gun, or whether you use martial arts, if you're a martial artist, and you knock them out, and, and then you and then you decide to keep hitting them and hitting them, and say I'm in the right, I have the right to take his life. You're a fucking psycho. That's all. That's all I gotta say. I mean, you really gotta stop and think about how important this is. There's a difference between self-defense and murder. This is there to speak. And to all of you, take care.